Welcome. In front of me is a Nokia 9 PureView, and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now before I get started, I'm just going to quickly mention that this phone I have here is actually locked and I'll need to legitimately verify the previously used Google account or... It looks like just Google account. Uh, there was also a pattern set on it. Uh, sometimes the devices give you a pattern as an option, but it looks like in the old Android that wasn't a thing. In any case, so to get started, we're going to back out to the first page. And you do want to connect to Wi-Fi network before you begin. So just go through the setup process till you get to this page, select your Wi-Fi network, and then we can progress further. And we do so by oh, backing out. And in here, we're gonna select emergency, emergency info, tap on that twice, edit, click on the owner, and we're gonna click on the drop down right here for these uh, for this image, and we're gonna select to um, choose an image. From here, we're gonna click on the three dots that you can see in the corner. Or no, never mind. There we go. These three bars, not dots. And we want to select photos. Let me quickly check. There's nothing here though. Now ah, we need to hold it. So as you just seen, when you have the photos option, you want to hold it instead of tapping on it. This will take us to app info. Now in here, we're gonna select the, the permissions and then we're gonna click on the search bar. You wanna type in settings. And we're looking for settings at the very bottom. So you can see out of all these, this one actually has this kind of colored icon saying settings. And when you click on it, you will have an option to open it up. If there is any other settings in here, uh, chances are it won't have the open option. So just keep on looking till you find this specific one. Once you open it up, you want to navigate to apps and notifications. Then you want to click on the see all 26 apps or however many it shows for you and then click on the three bar bars and select show system and next thing is we're looking for google play services actually i'm going to start off with the other one because uh, it's right at the top so we're going to start off with android setup there's two of them I think we're looking for this one. So the one that only has the four stop option. But you know what, just to be absolutely certain, I'm gonna get the other one, like disable and also for stop. Better be safe than sorry. From here, we're gonna now scroll down to Google Play services. There we go, Google Play services. Disable, disable up, and first stop. So we have now turned off technically three apps, but one of them was basically the same thing. Anyway, uh, once we have done so, I'm going to back out. I'm going to back out once again. And we're looking next for... Well, actually backing out all the way to the beginning of the setup, actually. So just... There we go. So once we are back in the main settings page, we, or setup page, we're gonna progress through it. Gonna select don't copy. Let's go back. It wouldn't uh, have shown us that the device is locked anymore because we have t turned off the Google Play services. So. Uh, once you back out, it will automatically take you to the Wi-Fi connection page with a new option, uh, skip, 
So So let me quickly make sure. I'm reading the guide as I go along, so I am doing well, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do next. So it looks like we are about to retrace all the steps. Just gonna make sure. Yep. So we're basically retracing all the steps and we're gonna re-enable the Google Play services, which will then allow us to actually select a skip. And at that point, it will actually work. If we try to skip it right now, it would just not function correctly and we wouldn't be able to finish up the setup. So anyway, uh, once you have the skip button, that's good. We can continue and we're just going to back up again to the uh, welcome uh, page right here. Emergency, emergency info, edit, name, drop down, choose an image, three bars, hold the photos, open, Oh wait, not open, my bad. Let's back up. Three bars and permissions. Search bar. Settings. Scroll all the way down, select settings, open. Have some notifications. Uh, see all 26. Find Google Play services. And here we're just going to select Enable. And then again, we're going to back out. And again, we're going to go to the setup. Now, this time around, you actually want to select the skip button. So uh, when it starts checking for updates, you can go back, select skip, continue. And finish up the setup. Skip. Now at this point you want to skip everything that you can because the device is still technically locked. So to fully unlock it we're going to navigate into our settings and we're going to scroll all the way down to system, advanced, reset options, erase all data, delete all data and then click on the button again to delete all data. This will begin performing a factory reset of the phone which will take probably like two to three minutes to finish up and once it's completed you'll be taken back to the setup for your device but at that point the device will be fully unlocked so you can set it up in whatever way you want to. So there we go that's basically how you can bypass the Google verification on this Nokia and if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching